Welcome back. You're watching the late night news on to a few sports updates from the US Open. Rafael Nadal had firm focus on winning the crown at the Flushing Meadows since winning the Wimbledon and French Open titles this summer. The Spaniard is now just one match away and he's reached the destination without dropping a set. Facing him will be Novak Djokovic. <laughs> Joker did not distract Roger Federer with his antiques, but he closed out five-time former US Open champion with a nail-biting five-setter. No wonder he chose unconventional ways to recover after the game. Having popcorn, watching TV, <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I will do uh, anything that comes up to your mind, legally, recovery-wise. <laughs> I, I will do it. You know, I can't go to the details too much. Uh, emotional, uh, emotional recovery with my girlfriend and a uh, couple of things that I cannot talk about. <laughs> it's not what you think, I know what you think. <laughs> well, Joker, it doesn't matter what we are thinking. What matters is what Rafael Nadal has on his mind tonight. Nadal won his 20th match in a row at a Grand Slam after taking titles at Ronald Garo and Wimbledon this season. But the world number one put up his feet while Djokovic and Federer battled in their energy sapping struggle. It's a matter of uh, can he make it? I mean, chances are good now, especially that Novak's so tired but uh, and Rafa has been playing so well. But it's exciting for tennis that we're doing something very special in tennis at the same time. Um, yeah, and. I won't watch, but I hope he wins. <laughs> Rafa will have one extra supporter when he makes the final push for the first US Open title and set a series of records, including becoming the seventh man to complete the set of major titles. Well, the city of Chennai is drenched in tennis fever as well with the return of the Davis Cup to the city after 31 long years. And the feeling just gets better as one of the youngest Indian stars and Chennai bred Somdev Dev Varman makes an appearance. Speaking to our sports reporter Natasha Dariswamy, he spilled the beans on how special the Cup really was to his career. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, I think our, the practices are going to start tomorrow and uh, we're, all really, we're all really excited about uh, you know actually being in Chennai and playing a tie over here after so long. So... You know, I'm really glad that um, the tie is actually here, uh, where I kind of grew up and started playing tennis. So I'm really excited about it. Who do you think your biggest competition is possibly, especially since Bellucci is going to be playing as well? Uh, Brazil. Uh, we, it's not just Bellucci, it's the whole team. I think uh, they're, all, uh, they're all very good players. I mean, this, the doubles team included. And, uh, and so, you know, we have a really tough challenge ahead of us. And you also must be very thrilled about your uh, fellow tennis player, of course, Bopana reaching the finals of the US Open. Any comments on his performance? I mean, yeah, it's great to, you know, to see, uh, you know, him do so well in the, in the Open, make the finals and, you know, play such a close match even last night. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I'm really happy for the guy because I know he puts a lot of work in and uh, I'm really happy for his team. I think Shamal and... Uh, Everyone else around there is, uh, have been doing a really good job. So, you know, I'm really, really happy that he's uh, getting some good results. Finally, in some unfortunate news, popular playback singer Swarnalata passed away today. The singer died today in a private hospital due to a lung-related disease. She was 37 years old. The national award-winning singer is well known for rendering some unforgettable, unforgettable numbers in Tamil, like Pura Le Punnutai from the film Karutama and songs in films like Bombay and more recently Bhima. She was a favorite with song directors Rahman and Eli Raja and has sung some of their most famous songs. NDTV Hindu pays tribute to this famous singer. Born in a family of singers, music was a natural passion for Swarna Lata. She was born in 1973 in Palakkad, but spent most of her younger days in Shimoga in Karnataka. She started a musical journey in the films at the age of 15 with a Tamil song. A unique high-pitched voice and her gentle smile earned Swarna Lata not only fans, but also the national award for the best playback singer in 1995. <laughs> Swarna Lata had recorded more than 1,000 songs in several Indian languages. She had worked extensively with popular music directors Ile Raja and A.R. Rahman. 
her songs in Chinna Thambi, Bombay and Alai Payude were instant hits. Swarna Lata was struggling with a lung-related disease. News of her death plunged thousands of fans and her colleagues in the film world in sadness. In Chennai, Batila, NDTV Hindu. Well, that's all we have for you now, but also remember we are also available online. We are streaming live on www.ndtv-hindu.com. Thanks for watching.